and Kansas. In my family, I was the honorary one. Um, it was hard to keep control of me because when I was little, I was just going here and there and doing a million things at once. So I was kind of the one that they had to really keep an eye on. <laughs> Miss Kansas, Danielle Boatwright. Danielle is a real competitor. She's a kickboxer, and last summer, she fought off a mother who tried to steal her purse. I'll bet he was surprised. Good. Next, Miss Kansas. absolutely wonderful, but we are the biggest sports nuts in the world. On Monday nights, we have football, stew, and cornbread. And the family gets together and we're rowdy, just like you're at the game. And they're just insane. What's going on with this deal here? What's that all about? They asking you to pass the pizza or what? Football too. No, football it's, too. it's um Kansas City Chiefs are of course our our football team and Tomahawk Chop. I got you. Okay, so you're all jocks in the family, huh? Oh yes, and we have a lot of them too. Well, why? Well, I have seven brothers, and it's a blended family. And by the grace of God, I finally had a little half sister, so we're all athletes now. Now I know you're a model, and is it true that you turned down a three hundred thousand dollar contract to model? Well, I turned down, um, it was for a cosmetic line in Europe, and um, it wasn't quite that much money, but just about. And I turned it down because they wanted me to go, um, I had to go topless, and I don't believe in that. And so I couldn't shame my family myself. So. Yeah, you wouldn't have been invited back to the Monday Night Football soiree. Yeah, okay, thanks a lot. That's Miss Kansas, Danielle Boatwright. Now, Miss North... Miss Kansas. I'm from Tonganoxie, Kansas, population 2000, and we've just gotten a stoplight. It's gone from a flashing stoplight to a regular stoplight, so it's big news. Kansas, Danielle Boatwright. Go ahead. Into the bowl. And you've come up with judge number five. That's Donna Sheen. Donna, your question. What is the one thing about men that you just don't understand? <laughs> well, I, I have to tell you that. I think I understand men pretty much because I have seven brothers. But the one thing I can't understand about you guys is you are really messy. Very, very messy. My brothers have a se separate bathroom than what I have, and I just can't figure that out. I think you guys need to be work a little harder on being neater. <laughs> Stay right where you are. Here come the scores on Miss Kansas. Okay, Danielle, back you go now. Natasha Bell, Miss Michigan. Who is the last woman with a chance to become Miss USA? It's Miss Kansas, Danielle Boatwright. All right, the suspense goes on. One of these three beautiful young ladies will be the new Miss USA. And finally, Danielle Boatwright. Miss Kansas. Okay, here's the question. Same one the other two got. How would the world be different if women were judged solely on their achievements rather than on their looks? Well, I think a lot of women are judged on their achievements, and I think people are respecting that more, and I think that we have been. And I appreciate that, and I think as long as women are judged on their achievements, 
just that we will keep rising and rising because we come a long way, and we've still got a long way to go, and we're going to get there. All right. Thank you very much, Danielle. Step right over here, if you would, please. And now the moment has come for our judges to make their final decision. As each of our final three delegates steps forward, the judges will vote for her as either second runner-up, first runner-up, or the new Miss USA. Now, remember, this vote is based on the judges' overall impression on the delegates during the competition this evening, in addition to her answer during the final question. So, judges, you are about to make the decision as to who you think will be the best Miss USA for 1996. And we begin with Miss, Miss Kansas. round of applause for three incredible young women. Tonight, these women have shown us that they have so many extraordinary qualities in addition to their beauty. And in a few minutes, one of them will be wearing this crown to prove it. Who will it be? You'll know when we come back. Stay right where you are. And then we were down to two. Now, we're about to reveal the name of the first runner-up in the new Miss USA, and we want to remind you of the importance of the first runner-up, and boy, do we know that. We sure do. If Miss USA can't complete her reign for any reason, and of course, that's just what happened this past year, when Chelsea became Miss Universe, then our first runner-up will become Miss USA, as Shayna did. And who knows, it could happen again in Las Vegas that's on May true. 17th. Here we go. You ready? Deep breath, ladies. The first runner-up is... Miss Kansas, Ellie Landry, Miss Louisiana, you are the new Miss USA. <laughs> Congratulations, Ellie, you're the new Miss USA, 1996, the cash awards, the gifts are all yours, and you are going to represent our country at the Miss Universe pageant in Las Vegas. <laughs> 